Hey, Fire Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your Thursday, December 13th, 2018 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, your first card out is the Knight of Wands. Your second card out is the Chariot in Reverse. Third card out is the Hierophant. The person you are dealing with. That one wanted to pop. The Empress in Reverse. The Page of Cups. The judgment in reverse. Your guys' outcome for today. The five of cups in reverse. The queen of cups. And the magician. Your bottom of the deck is the ten of swords. Clarified by the Two of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Next card out is the Emperor and the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Nice bottom of the deck there. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, Fire Signs. I had to pause you for a second because FedEx was at my door. Tis the season. So, okay. Um, With your guys' bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords closing out a cycle, um, letting uh, the hurts and the pains and the backstabbing and the deceit all fall away. You have really taken some time to go within and decide what it is that you want, what you want out of life, a relationship, family, friends, your job, everything. You have really gone through some introspection. You have really gone through a major transformation and you are now um, coming out of that. You have um, processed your feelings. You have thought about your future. You have thought about your past. You have really um, relinked to your spiritual center. Um, you are becoming very uh, spiritually um, intuitive. You, you just really have began to revamp your whole life, your whole self, and you didn't even realize you were doing it in the thick of it, but um, you have been, and you are now ready to release this past, and with that is a promise of a new beginning. Um, by finding yourself again, by finding who you really are, you are sparking the passion to ignite a whole chain of events to um, to create something that you have been wanting to create, whether that be a new business, um, a new friendship, a new relationship, whatever it is that you have a lot of passion and put a lot of effort behind, you are going to be successful. Um, your first card out was the Knight of Wands. So um, you are dealing with somebody who is very flighty, uh, very in and out of your life, or you are doing this to somebody else. You have been stuck in a limbo for quite some time um, because this person is so in and out. You're not sure whether to move on. You're not sure whether to wait. You're not sure what to do. You're not sure what you want. Uh, so you're just kind of stuck, stuck in this limbo. Um, also waiting for somebody else to move forward towards you is what I am hearing um, because you want this relationship. You want a commitment. You want something you can hang your hat on. You want something solid and real and not just something that you're hoping and waiting that will come towards you. Um, for some of you, you could be seeking uh, uh, some form of counseling and that's helping you put these hurts of the past. Um, that's helping you reflect on what you want. But for the majority of you, this is you wanting to move into a commitment with somebody, waiting to hear for from them to let you know they're coming. They're on their way. Um, for some of you, 
Um, that's what's been holding you on this long. That's what's kept you from moving forward is the promise of this relationship. Could be with a Taurus, um, a water sign, Virgo. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Or another fire sign. Your person has the Empress in reverse. So um, they're not able to create anything with you right now or they're not able to move forward and start building something with you. They are in the reverse. So they are, um, they're just, they're not able to offer you the solid nurturing relationship that you so desperately want. They're offering you a third party situation. They're offering you sex. But they're not offering you something solid and nurturing and loving and new and something to be able to say, this is my partner. This is my person. This is my spouse, my boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the situation is. They aren't offering you that yet because they haven't moved on from where they are at currently. Or this could be you. <clears throat> um, with the three of cups, you are you're, you're not having it. You're not moving in the direction of a, a third party. Um, you have put your foot down and said, I need a commitment or I am out. And right now this person can't give that to you in this card. I don't know how well you guys can see that. There's kind of a glare, but in this card with this deck, um, you see the hand up here, um, with a little dropper. This is, uh, you know, the alchemist, the alchemy, this is, they need healing before they can offer you something stable, before they can give you a second chance or you give them one. Um, there is somebody here that is accepting healing from source. There is somebody here that is accepting their divine um, intervention, their, uh, their soul healing. That is you. I feel that is you because you are the one that is moving past this. You are the one that is healing. You are the one that has gone within and done the work and, um, and you see the other person in the bottom here, they look like they're crying. Their hands are in their hand. Their head is in their hands. They're just sad. This is the person that is refusing the help of the divine, refusing this healing, this soul cleanse. Um, so you are ready for this relationship. You are ready for commitment. Unfortunately, this person is not because they're not accepting the healing power of the divine. They're not help accepting the fact that they have to go within. They have to look at parts of themselves that are ugly and they have to heal from them, just like everybody does. Um, nobody is pretty on the inside 100%. But when we accept the fact that we're not perfect, that we need to do something, um, we need to have introspection and to heal ourselves, that is when our beauty um, radiates. That is when our vibration rises. That's where you guys are at now. You guys are feeling um, to the point where I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. Why should I have this when I deserve this and this queen of cups? So you guys are, um, you guys have healed to the point where you're like, I deserve more. I am worth more. I want more. I am going to go get more. If you ain't going to ride that carriage on over here, I'm going to ride it on out of here. And I do see you guys doing that, um, for this group of you. Because they're just not coming forward. They're not doing the work in here, in themselves, um, to, to progress this relationship into a, a commitment. And you're tired of that. You're tired of feeling deceived. You're tired of being a secret. You're tired of you constantly having to take the brunt of them not doing what they need to do. You're the one that ends up hurt. You're the one that ends up sad. You're the one that ends up lonely. You're the one that ends up on and on and on and on. And you're tired of it. You're tired of it. And you have healed to the point where you know you deserve better. You know you can get better. You know you deserve a passionate, loving, committed relationship. Not saying that this person doesn't love you because they, oh my God, they love you. This is your twin. This is your soul. But they're not putting in the work. They're not doing what they need to do to bring this relationship into um, what it's meant to do. They need some more time. So in that time, if you want to move forward and, you know, see other people, 
that's, that's your choice. Go ahead because you deserve happiness. You deserve a loving, real relationship. And, um, for those of you who do choose to move forward, uh, I do guarantee this person will be back in the future and you will then have to choose yourself between whoever you started seeing and this person, but you can move on and not see other people. If you want, you can move on with your life and, uh, focus on other areas and not sit here and be stuck waiting in limbo for this person in your guys's outcome. You have the five of cups in reverse, no longer caring. No, this is like, I don't give a fuck in a good way. Like, oh, well, I know that I am a beautiful individual with a healed heart and soul, and I have so much to offer. And if they don't want to take my cup that I have here that I am handing to them, if they don't want to take it, that's fine. Because I know that I can create my own reality. I know that whatever I want, I can manifest. I know whatever I want. I can, if I can think it, I can have it. And that is what you're doing fire science because you have so much love to give. This is you healed. Your soul is whole. Your heart is pure and you're ready to give love. And if they don't want to accept that from you, you're going to move forward and put your heart and soul into something or someone else. It's different for every person, whether you put your heart and soul into starting a new business with this ace of wands, starting a new job, starting a new hobby, um, seeing other people, spending more time with friends, whatever it is, you're going to find joy and contentment and, uh, love and success in whatever you put your heart in right now. You have the power. You are being rewarded for putting in the hard work of, um, healing chemically becoming balanced, um, healing your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, your spirit. And now you're ready to give to the world. So the spirit is saying, go for it. Follow your heart and whatever your heart is leading you to do, go forth because this person will return when they are healed. Um, don't know when that will be, but, um, but if you would, if you want to move forward and move ahead and leave this third party situation behind, you'll find success wherever you'll go. You'll find love wherever you put your intention and whatever you want to manifest. Um, success will come your way. Your card is uh, true love. The person you are dealing with, this is true love. This is your soulmate. Like I said, this is a romance of a lifetime, but nobody has to put their life on hold while you wait for them to get out of a failed relationship, while you wait for them to heal. Um, so move forward, follow your heart. And this person will be back. And this judgment will come in the upright when it's time, when they are healed, when they finally go within and do the work. Um, but don't put your life in pause waiting for them. Um, continue, go put your heart in other things. Um, work, career, family, friends, um, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel joy and love and not feel like you're bound by a third party situation or that you're a secret or a, um, second choice. Nobody should feel like that. So go find somewhere to put your heart and, um, where you will receive loving, fulfilling energy back to you. So fire signs, I hope you have a beautiful Thursday. What a positive, positive message for you guys. Um, congratulations for all the healing and hard work you have done. You deserve the best. So, all right, guys, I'll see you next time. I wish you love, light, and God bless.